Hey guys, welcome back to another wash and go combo video. I have already shampooed and conditioned my hair. So we're working with clean, um, moisturized, detangled hair. For today's video, I'm going to be using this raw sugar unbreakable bond leave-in treatment and the Twisted Sisters Dream Curl Gel. Now I've never tried a raw sugar or Twisted Sisters product prior to this video. So this is my first time ever trying these brands. I did pick these up at Marshalls. Going in with the raw sugar bond leave-in treatment, it is a super creamy consistency. As soon as I applied it to my hair, it felt like butter. It immediately melted into my hair. It felt really good and it smells like banana, like banana bread. It has a really like banana E scent um because i guess banana leaf is in one of the ingredients it has a lot of slip so if you're a type 4 girly like me with super dense hair or just easily tangled hair you can detangle with this product which is great introducing the twisted sisters dream curl gel this is the consistency it is very jelly like like a custard it is clear and as soon as i applied it babes it felt so 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 good now it's super super like soft jelly consistency does make me think about how much hold it might have the bottle does say strong hold gel so we will we will see we will see towards the end but everything applied good going on it did create this really sudsy like shampoo like um like consistency applying it to my hair like it it sounded like a shampoo applying on so i was wondering if it was going to flake um so i was kind of not heavy-handed trying to use it because i did know i don't know if it was just because i mix it with the leave-in or even if i were to use it by myself if it would have created that sudsy shampoo-y consistency Now getting more into the products for the raw sugar bond leave-in treatment. Um, this is designed to help restore overprocessed hair, protect color, prevent further damage um, with the scent of lavish tropical paradise of creamy coconut and banana. It is made with a lush botanical extract blend in order to seal in color, enhance elasticity, boost shine, and soften the hair. So this product is vegan, it is cruelty free, it's made with clean ingredients um, and cold pressed extracts, it does not have any SLS, SLES, sulfates and parabens, um, even made with post-consumer recycled plastics. Um, they claim to use a cold press technology that preserves extracts and delivers the purest, richest, most nutrient extracts um, to love your skin from in the outside in well in this case your hair so this product i really did enjoy using it i don't have anything bad to say about this product outside that i wish it was more accessible because outside of the websites and i did pick it up at a marshall's i have not seen this in targets walmart's um maybe you can find it on amazon uh, so i wish it was more accessible for people to try but i really did enjoy the believe in For the Twisted Sisters Amazing Dream Curl Gel, it's supposed to define your curls, seal in moisture, and leave your hair with a healthy shine. Now, reading the description, I'm just noticing it is meant for to elongate and define loose waves and light curls for a crunchless hold. So please keep that in mind, as I did not pay attention to that when I grabbed it. But it does have pretty good ingredients. Again, the same issue with the leave-in is that it is not easily accessible. Um, but we will see how my results are looking like in the next clip as I finish up this wash day in regards to price for the, so for the leave-in from raw sugar, I did find it for $2.99. Um, for the twisted sisters gel, I believe I picked it up for maybe around $5. Um, I, they do have it on Amazon, but it's running damn near $20 on Amazon um so just keep that in mind um it is really not that accessible but i'm going to still link both of them below 
So I'm gonna continue on this last section I have here. And in the next clip, I will share my results and my final, final, final thoughts with you guys. Hey guys, so I am back and currently, this is the same day, it's probably around 7.45, 8 o'clock right now. Um, my hair is probably, it's like 90% dry. So, this is how it's looking. I think my curls look really shiny and soft, but then as always, in the front I have a lot of frizz. And it's not just the front, it is areas throughout my head that I feel like I do have a lot of frizz in. Um, bottom line, I don't. I think by the time I wake up tomorrow after preserving it and I fluff it out, I don't think I can wear it out because I think the frizz is going to be really bad. So. The product smells really great. The consistency is a really jelly consistency. When it goes on, it's super sudsy like a shampoo. So that I didn't know. So I was afraid that two things were gonna happen. Well, mostly the main thing that it was gonna flake. I thought that it was gonna flake. There are no flakes. And my hair is super soft. Um, the jar says strong hold and it's not a strong hold gel. So I didn't under apply but i also didn't over apply because i was getting that sudsy feeling um some areas like for example on the front here this strand has hold so i don't know like i'm curious to see if i if i don't chicken out with ap the application like would it still give me the same results or would it have a stronger hold because right now this is what it's looking like um i don't hate this i it's a nice soft wash and go but the bottle said the, the jar said strong hold and i don't have the strong hold i'm really happy it didn't flake though because at the very least if i wake up tomorrow and i cannot wear it to work for whatever reason i can slick it back maybe or put it in a high puff but i was really hoping to get at least two days out of it because my regular wash day time frame is two or three days max before I start looking like I, I raggedy. So basically, like I don't know what to do with myself. So um, sad to see this possibly will give me one day. Um, but it's not like the worst product that I've tried, the worst wash and go that I've tried. It's not the worst gel that I've had. In regards to the leave-in, I really enjoyed the leave-in. It smells great. It smells like, um, I think this, the product was like banana leaf and something. Um, I can't really remember at the moment. It smells just like a banana and it goes on smoothly. You're able to detangle with it. I really like that leave-in. So I might explore more of the raw sugar products because I have yet to try anything from them. Um, and I think they have a mask from this collection too, or like like a mask from the green collection which i think is the same as this one um or i'm gonna explore more to see if they have more bond products which i feel like everybody's kind of doing at the moment um i did enjoy the leave-in 
I don't think it altered my results whatsoever or it could have, I'm not sure, but my wash and go just came out super, super soft and I feel like it's super frizzy. Like the front looking like this on day one, I can't even imagine how it's going to look in the morning. So that's my two cents. Um, I do want to try it a second time before I completely choose to cancel it out or not. I'm going to leak it in the description box below if you guys do still want to pick it up. The leave-in is a good leave-in. I'm going to put it down there regardless. Um, I do want to get a second opinion, so I'm going to try it again once I come around to using it. It reminds me of the Curl Slime products to where I get a lot of moisture and the hair is so soft, like so soft and almost mushy-like, but there's no hold and it'll give you one day. It'll You look good for one day. You're not gonna look messed up, but you'll, you'll look good for one day and then after that, you can't really do much else but put your hair up. Um, that is my two cents on the products, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe on your way out, and then I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.